Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture Department. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. Here in Chicago, we are having a cold spell, a tundra, a polar vortex. It's 10 degrees today, which is about 10 or 20 degrees warmer than it's been the past couple of days. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we are going to look at Lumion Real Skies. Before we jump into that tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, search me up on YouTube, click on subscribe. Click on all the notifications so you don't miss out on anything. I, if you're in digital design, if you're an architect or an architecture student, there is something here for you. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That would be great. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. Help me get to 3,000 followers. See what I'm up to see what my students are making. All right, let's jump into, into today's tutorial. So here we have a Lumion scene. This was created with some Lumion videos that I made. You can go back and check those out. Um, in this file, there is not what's called a real sky. Right now, there is just a sky background. So if I go to weather right now, the sky background here, if I increase the cloudiness we can see that or decrease the cloudiness so this is just the default sky that comes included in your lumion scene and what's nice about that is that sky it adjusts as best as it can to the sun's position all right but we're going to look at real skies that's what we're here for there's a real skies option here but that's not the one i'm going to enable i'm going to enable the real skies as an effect so I need to click on my little camera photo button here and I need to go to effects in the upper left here and I can click on plus. There's all different kind of effects, conceptual, architectural, lighting, sky and weather and so on, all different kinds. And right now it's just set to featured and under featured, you will see a real skies. So I'm gonna add that real skies and it's brought in this real sky. And if I click to preview, it'll show me now. I think what you can see is the lighting is way different now. It's way more saturated with this real sky. So it's taken on the lighting of the real sky. So what is a real sky? Well, let's go to HDRI Haven. So these real skies are what's called HDRI images, which stands for High Dynamic Range Image. And these images are taken with multiple exposures layered on top of one another. So they have this really high, um, I guess you could say color history to them. And they have a lighting origin to each of them. And that lighting origin, uh, Lumion will use that light origin where the light is. So you can see in these images, you'll see where the kind of where the sky is coming from. Some of them are softer than others, not the sky, but where the sun is coming from. So I guess let's just download a few of these and see what, what happens. And what I'm looking for is ones that are very different from one another. So this one is kind of a misty, cloudy sky dome. So it's kind of a the mood, I guess, is what I like to say. The HDRI images really help set the mood. So I'm going to download this one. Got to be careful when these ads pop up, okay? It's a free site, so the ads are there. Try not to click on them. But what we'll see is... Under misty and cloudy sky dome, we'll see 8K. And that's about 54 or 53 megabytes. I don't need a file that high, unless you're making 8K images. I'm not making 8K images at the moment, but if you are, they're there and they're even higher. For right now, 2K, I'm just making some high definition images. So 2K is 2000 pixels. So that's enough for me, 2K is enough for me. So I'm gonna go with the 2K. And I'm going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to click on the download button here. I'm going to put these in a folder where I know I can find them. Okay, so that's 
my misty pure sky. Uh, so let's go back and find some other ones. So outdoor, skies. Let's find a nighttime sky because we're going to want to see how that affects the scene. Uh, there's some really good ones here um, for nighttime that will make the image really dramatic. Let's try this one, Chinese city at night. So we'll go down, we'll put the down arrow down to 2K and we'll download our 2K image. And then I think we can get one more, maybe like a real bright daytime one just to see that. So maybe high contrast. Let's try this one with the trees. I'm really kind of curious on what this will look like. So we'll download the 2K version for that. All right, so we have three HDRI images to compare. So let's look at these in Lumion. So it's only in maybe this very recent release of 2023 that you can actually add custom HDRI files. Before you were just uh, given the default Polygon ones. And those are there. Polygon is a website that also has HDRI files and it has image textures. Um, so if you're interested at looking at that site, looking at that site, check it out. Okay, so we're going to be able to import our own files. So we're going to click on the folder and we're going to go to that folder that I made. Let's find that. All right, and let's let's try this Shanghai. I think this was the night one. We'll see in a moment what it is, which one it is. So you can really see the lighting has really changed. I know it has some buildings in the back, and we can take those out in Photoshop, but you can see how this lighting affects the scene. And I'm moving the heading, which is the position, the position of the daylight there. So it's moving around, and it's lighting the image from different, different points of view. Let's take a look at some of the other ones here. So this was the Paris one. I, of course, I picked all the ones with <laughs> the background that has a lot of information in it. So, you know, if you want one that's just just the sky without the uh, clouds, you can do that. But I'm in, you know, I typically take the skies out in Photoshop. So here's one we can see how it's lighting. It's it's really intense. It has a lot of contrast. Let's go for one more here, which is the pure sky, which is the one we'll go with because it has just the sky background and there is no, uh, there are no buildings in the background. So you see as I rotate this around, that sun is changing or that sun is being positioned and shining in different locations. So I'm going to put it right behind the building. And uh, if I click on this, it updates it. We were getting a pretty good update. Now, sometimes, in most cases, actually, I like to add a sun with my real sky. So to do that, because right now it's just being lit by the real sky, and sometimes with the real sky, the shadows aren't that sharp, all there, or aren't that um, extreme or strong, I should say, but they're pretty strong with this image. Uh, but let's add a sun on top of that and see what the procedure is for that. So what you'll need to do with the sun is you'll need to set that sun right, you see that sun moving around, you can see it moving around in the upper left of that image. I'm going to set it right with the bright spot on the HDRI image. That's how you want to incorporate the sun and the HDRI image together. And I can change the height I can change, that was the heading, was its location, and I can raise and lower the intensity of that sun. So I'm going to keep it kind of low. All right, if we go back to my, if we go back to the stack, the effect stack, let's go back to that. So what's important here is the sun is on top of the real skies. So you can see the difference between that. The sun is actually making it a little more softer, not so much contrast, probably because it's a little lighter. All right, that's it for Lumion Real Skies. I hope you enjoyed this video. My head's going to pop up in the upper left, and then the upper right and the lower right, I'm going to put some other Lumion videos to look at. All right, thanks for watching, and have a great day.